Welcome back to Malvern, Pennsylvania, as we are sitting here at the 2023 U.S. Open, USA Archery's final outdoor tournament of the season, kind of, as we <laughs> are ready for a heavy hitter match in the bare bow category for the gold medal. It's John Demmer III versus Matt Yaka. I'm Greg White sitting alongside Connor Coffold, who shot this category, Olympic recurve, compound this weekend. And talk to me about these two men and their impact on barebow archery. Yeah, John obviously uh, has done just about in just about everything uh, in in barebow. And uh, Matt, when I was shooting uh, when I was shooting barebow, he was a great he was a great mentor at all the tournaments. He would give me tips, and he really helped me uh, in in my uh, in my tournaments with with barebow. They're both they're both great guys, great to shoot with. It'll be a good match here. So these archers are shooting 50 meters, so it's just about 55 yards from where they're standing down to the target face. What is it? What's the target face? It's a 122 centimeter multicolor face, same as you'd see in uh, in Olympic archery. John Demmer starts off in the gold. That's a great shot. And <laughs> the answer from Yaka. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of archery we expect to see. The wind starting to subside. Ooh. Ten. Connor, you've done this before. I mean, yeah, how? it's tough. <laughs> Still in the gold. One point advantage to Demmer. How are we going to score this match? So this is going to go by set scoring. So each end is its own set. You get two points for winning the set, and you get one point if it happens to tie. Just outside. Just outside that. And That's a great group, that though. Yeah, certainly is a good group. For Matty Yaka. So now the scoring judges will make their way to the bells. We'll have one judge that will call the arrows, another one that will write it down. You can see right there in the middle part of your screen. And then you have a couple other people that are down at the bell. Mm-hmm. Each one of the agents that are down there are basically have their archer's best interest at heart, and they're double checking. And if they think there's anything to dispute, they will definitely mm -hmm. argue for their archers, right? Yep. Yeah. I, uh, what? Just at Buckeye, I was uh, I was Trenton's archer agent in his gold medal match against uh, <laughs> against Justin Hewish, and yeah. yeah, you're pretty much just making sure everything everything goes the way it should as far as scoring and and all and then you're marking the arrows and pulling them making sure anything that was maybe if a knot got broken you make sure to you know flip that arrow around so you so they know that that's uh that's not an arrow they want to shoot again before they fix it so john demmer goes up two set points to zero the first set point first archer to six wins if we go 5-5 five, five on a tie. We're going closest arrow to the center for the gold. Second end. Barebow men gold medal match here at the 2023 U.S. Open. It's a USA archery tournament, one of the biggest of the year here in Malvern, Pennsylvania on what has turned out to be a stunning day. Tricky wind early on in the day for the competitors in their elimination matches. It's starting to slow down ever so slightly. We have a right to left wind that can make things a little bit tricky. But there's a good look at Demmer. <laughs> Dare I say the godfather of Bearbow, right? <laughs> yeah. In Man. the U.S. for sure. Same spot as those last three. Just caught the nine. Looks like Demers without his usual uh, colorful tape on his nose. Hmm? Notice that he usually has has some sort of colorful tape just protecting his nose. Uh, you know, with barebow, you're looking straight down the arrow. String can get really close to your nose. So Matt has one go a little wide. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a pluck of the string on that one. And Demmer answers, yeah. <laughs> takes advantage of it. A 
Kadiaka's rebound arrow goes seven. A little bit of a flinch, <laughs> but <laughs> still hits the nine. <laughs> so Connor Coffle, as we get ready to look at the scores, and obviously John Demmer had a really good end. He's going to go four set points up on Matt Yaka. And let's talk a little bit about the position of the light. You can see the lighting, you know, on the faces of these athletes. How do you adjust for lighting conditions with a bare bow when you're shooting bare bow? It's, it can be tough because you're looking down the arrow, so when the sun's shining on, you know, in this case it'll be the right side of the arrow, it really it really lights up that side, and all you can really see is the left side of the arrow. So it may be a case where they need to aim further to the right than they normally would because they're only seeing the left side of the arrow. Mm -hmm. So the center of the arrow, for in their view, moves left. So to correct for that, they might have to aim a little bit farther right. Mm. So it's, it, it can definitely uh, cause changes to the lighting here. And, I mean, we're, we're talking you've got to experiment with it, right? Like you yeah. just got to have experience shooting mm -hmm. it at all times of day. I think a lot of us as archers, we tend to get into some sort of a rhythm. I know for me, I like to get up. If I have time, I'm right to the range. I'm shooting, especially in the summertime when it's hot. Yeah. And I'm shooting in the morning. But so you get to conditions like this in a gold medal match late afternoon, you might not be prepared for that. All right, so scores are being double-checked, and it looks like it's going to be 21-28 in end number two. So that's going to give a 4-0 lead to John Demmer the third over Matty Yaka in the gold medal match here for Bear Bow Men, our second match of competition in the USA Archery's 2023 U.S. Open. By the way, you don't have to be anything special. You don't have to be a pro arch or anything. You can come here and sign up. Mm -hmm. Next year they're going to be in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, that'll be a warm one. <laughs> It'll be a little warm. So if you're down in that, that part of the country, in the southwest, check out U.S. Airtree's website for the date on this double tournament. It'll be the 140th U.S. Airtree Target Nationals and U.S. Open. It's a good arrow straight out of the box for Yaka. Same spot for John. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, wait a second, did wait, we switch targets? <laughs> <laughs> Same exact spot. Ooh. Beautiful shot. And you can see the, the slight movement, too, on the bow. Oh, and shit. Demmer, by the way, got that shot off just, just as before a gust came through. Wind settles down for the moment. Nice cool shots. So it'll be... A, a 10 needed for John Demmer here to tie up this set. And he gets it. Wow. <laughs> so 5-1. <laughs> he just couldn't let Yaka have a clean yeah. one, could he? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently 28's not enough in this bare bow. 28's <laughs> not enough? That is crazy. It's crazy to think about the level of these arcs. That's 50 meters, 55 yards down range. That 10 ring is 12.2 centimeters across so that would be what maybe the size of an orange-ish would you say yeah it's it's not a big ring they're trying to hit down there and for all of it for you know for every arrow that end to fall in the yellow is that's some great shooting so waiting official confirmation on scores which we've already had and called down we're expecting this 5-1 so here's a situation for Matty Yaka if he wants to stay alive he's got to win this completely outright that would take us to a 3-5, and then he's got to do it again. And that would take us to a tie. And then so you're looking for a one arrow closest to the center. Other than that, if they tie, the win's going to go to Demmer. If, obviously, if Demmer wins outright, it'll go 7-1, and mm -hmm. he's the gold medal champ. Even though it's set scoring, without question, every single point matters in these mm -hmm. next three arrows. You can see the shot clock. So that is a get ready timer. And it's going to go to 20 seconds per arrow. Big flinch from Yaka there. He lets it go and starts Catches off. the eight. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight line. Cool. Demmer responds with a 10. You just get the feeling that 
Yakko's just got to put it right where he needs it. Just yeah, right in the, Denver's right not the giving him anything so far. Mm -hmm. Another 8-7 liner. It's going to be an 8. Denver's still in the yellow. Just outside the tent. Good final arrow. Nine, and so... With a good shot here, John Denver will have it. And he got and it. He, <laughs> he, he let knew it when he let it go. <laughs> he let it but fly. It in the yellow. Yeah, gets it in the yellow, and that's going to be gold medal 7-1. John Demmer the third, another gold medal in U.S. Air Archery competition. And the bear boat community, it, it's really special, isn't it, Connor? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's probably the most the most friendly and welcoming of the of the divisions. Everyone's out there having fun. Uh, you know, not everyone's competing against each other, but it's everyone's having fun competing against each other. There's no uh, there's no other really way to explain it. Everyone's out there just having fun, having a good time. Yeah, and tens tens aren't the regular in Barbo, and they'll let you know too. We're out there on the field competing. Compound oftentimes competes side by side with Barebow because it's, they're both at 50 meters, and you have a lot of fun Barebow people just yelling, Barebow, Barebow. It's a great community and a rapidly growing community. Mm -hmm. And part of that is, I think, the simplicity of what you're shooting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to go, you know, get, you know, buy a sight, stabilizers, all that. You just, all you need is the bow. 